This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Let's look at uh, the other driving human desire, the desire for freedom, 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 freedom. I guess the estimates now would indicate that about 15% or 20% of Americans are roughly 90% libertarian. Probably 50% of Americans are willing to occasionally push for some sort of freedom on at least one issue. Their wishes coupled with the decentralization of manufacturing will presumably lead to certain types of freedom technologies being mass produced. The Liberator gun is an early example. One freedom related thing people want is answers to certain conspiratorial type of questions. You'll probably see software developed that can uh, look at old newsreels and determine whether people were lying Technology may eventually uh, solve once and for all some of the questions, the big burning questions, who murdered JFK, exactly how did the Gulf of Tonkin incident come about and how did it play out? Does this politician who's giving this speech in the year 2030 know something he's hiding? Is this a false flag that he's talking about? It's already possible for trained humans to get a pretty clear sense of whether someone's lying just from watching them. Software will probably eventually decentralize that talent. Authorities in some places will probably react by turning the law backwards. So that in he instead of having a list of things that are illegal, you have a list of things that are legal, that are allowed. Everything else is forbidden or licensed. Uh, drugs will come into being, or synthetic drugs that can't be detected in your system, that aren't easy to smell out if you're, you know, for canine units. Larry Niven's concept is a thing he calls, I think, uh, wire heads, where people get a certain, they, they invent a certain type of electric current that they can put into your head that makes you extremely happy with no physical addiction effects. But of course, the people who use it become psychologically addicted as a effort at gaining more control authorities should there still be a state you know in 20 or 30 years should state go you know uh typical governments still exist at that point uh they'll develop more enforcement technology tools and one of these i think will be what you could call a infrared reader which would detect people's infrared signatures kind of the same way you detect a fingerprint identify it this will give them an end run probably around the whole retina scan scandal that is just now starting to brew I think it will some technology will come along that enables people to live comfortably and easily off the grid maybe in the woods authorities will counter this with micro drones that attempt to make every square acre of the earth searchable with face recognition or maybe they'll figure out a way to make satellites do that but again, I'm making certain assumptions. I'm falling into the same trap as Orson Scott Card. He assumed there would still be recognizable human beings wandering around hundreds of years from now, and that, in fact, those would be the only kinds of humans. I'm assuming there will still be... Excuse me, I don't like that. Yeah, good. Give me your license or registration insurance card. Uh, am I under arrest? Did I say that? Governments as we know them now. I shouldn't assume that. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details visit freekeen.com